it's pop and fools it's your boy mark the shark and we are back episode 33 of borrow you squad road to glory and today we are gonna take on some big big opponents to wrap up august and get into finally get into the full swing of the season and not be in this beginning phase anymore and uh, on the list, we have Newcastle United, as you see. A rematch with them from Season 2 when we knocked them out of this exact cup, the Carabao Cup. In this exact round, too. Round 2. So, let's go ahead and uh, get straight into this one. Let's get it started. Let's go win another game, boys. Your typical starting lineup goes out today. Arnar Sheving, Olgis Aro, Olgis uh, Vino Aro. Alfie Sutton, Ashbourne Bream, Gregor Muller, Neil Cavanaugh, Adorante Speak, Sigurd Jones and Tonya in the back, and Kai Phoenix between the sticks. Let's knock these guys out again, boys. We've done it once before. Let's do it again. Come on, boys. The goal. Here we go. St. James's Park. We've returned for round two. Of the Carabao Cup in round two between Newcastle United and Barrow. Come on, boys. A fast start is what took us over the line f the first time. Is it going to get us over the line the second time? Oh, Vino. Almost found an early goal there. Just sent his header up and over the bar. I'm going to take that as a no. Nice save, Kai. Now you can. I had my I had my headphone covering the AirPod and I didn't know if you could hear it. Oh, Saito with his nuts. Oh, that hurts. Muller, Briam. There's a chance and there's a finish. Come on, boys. Ashbourn Briam opens the scoring right before the half, and we've always looked the better side going forward, to say the least. But there it is, one nil. Very nice, composed attacking play from the boys in blue. So open scoring here against the Premier League side. There's halftime. 1-0, borrow lead at the break. And it was solid. Solid little performance there in the morning, in the first 45. Going to need a big second half to make sure that we keep this lead and keep on going in this competition. Come on, boys. St. Maximin down the line. Ball across. Malin. Daniel Malin levels it for Newcastle. The speed is just too much for the defense to handle. Maximin, St. Maximin beats Tunye off his shoulder. And just couldn't get back enough to keep Newcastle out. It's unfortunate. 1-1. One, one. Newcastle came to play coming out of the break, so the boys in blue are going to have to shape up. Nice, Tonye. High pressure from William Tonye. Sees it through. Vino, finish, please. No. And Tonye doesn't lock on. Fuck. That was the chance. Jamal Lewis. Tonye puts in a block on the back pass, but it's still with Lewis. One last chance for Newcastle here. Right before we get to stoppage time, maybe. St. Maximin. Inside Malin. Skits past his man. Malin still shoots and scores. Daniel Malin. A little bit of individual magic as Newcastle take the lead. Right in the death. Second half for Barrow just hasn't looked anything like the first at all 89th minute Danielle Mallon puts Newcastle in the lead is that the winner though oh, they just go out to Sheving it's through on goal but that'll do it we are out of the Carabao Cup Newcastle get their revenge two goals to one Danielle Mallon took the game by the neck and did what he needed to do to send Newcastle to the next round. <sighs> well, 
Oh well, time to focus on the league. Alright, second game of the episode. Back at home in Hulker Street. Borrow play host to Plymouth Argyle. One of the interesting sides in League One. Certainly will give us a challenge, but the twos are out today because that Newcastle game really winded the ones. So, Hins, Elliott, Turnin up front. Smith, McQuillan, Groves in the midfield. Konadu starts over the left instead of Chan Tierney. Bond and Malcolm Edgar are in the middle of the pitch in the center back pairing. And Frederick Muller starts over the right with Paul Grogan in the net. Three points, boys. Let's get off to a good start. All right, three points on the table, boys. Let's go take them. Barrow versus Plymouth Argyle on a rainy night or afternoon in Barrow and Furnace. Come on, boys. Smith. Barry Smith looking at his options. Doesn't find anything at the moment. Just a bunch of green shirts because Miro has decided to stay out wide. Frederick Muller cutting inside on his left foot. Goes for Craig McQuillan, who finds Ezra Elliott in left foot. Yes! Uh, that's what we're used to seeing. Ezra Elliott opening the scoring. Ten minutes in, and it's 1-0 on this rainy afternoon. Oh, Frederick. Cleaner touch, son. Reeves puts a nice ball through for Telford. Oh, that's a classy finish from Telford. Plymouth equalized 35 minutes in. Couldn't keep them out, but with a ball like that, I mean, and a finish like that from Telford, that was a very classy finish, that. Groves, left foot. Oh, looked for it. Couldn't find that back post, and that'll take us to halftime. One apiece here in Barrow. Going to need a little bit more effort from the boys going forward. Just not enough movement trying to break down that Plymouth defense, but we should be fine. Second half coming up now. All right, here we go. Second half. Borrow one, Plymouth one. Come on, boys. Can Miro find an option or two? Goes out wide. Konadu inside for hands. Barry Smith, that's a nice turn. Finish, son. And he does. That's a spinning off, son. There it is. They want to play tight to us. We're going to turn them like... I don't even know what we're going to turn them like. We're going to turn them like a smoothie or a milkshake. That makes it easy. Barry Smith. Barry Smith opens his account for the new campaign, Season 3. And uh, what better way to do it than with a goal like that? 2-1. Barrow back in the lead. I'll take it. There it is. Play your whistle, ref. There it is. The final whistle goes. 2-1 win. Very simple. Very clean. I'll take this every single day of the week. Three points. A hard-fought three points, though, for the twos. But can't always win them by seven or eight goals, right? All right. Back in the EFL Trophy, the Papa John's EFL Trophy. The defending champs take on Lincoln City as we look to go back-to-back -back for this one. Surely. The starting 11 is out. Sheving, Aro, Sutton. Brian Muller, Kavanaugh, Adorante Speak, Sigurd Johnson, and Tunye, and Kai Phoenix between the sticks. A 4-3-3 attack versus a 4-3-3 holding from Lincoln City. Let's see what this game brings us. I blinked. Come on, boys. Here we go, boys. The Papa John's Trophy, round one, group stage, game one. I don't know. Lincoln City, Barrow. Come on, boys. Briam. Muller. Arnar Shevink. Finish it, son. Oh, great save, Long. Nice interception, son. Briam, okay. Nice little one-two. 
As one bring him right foot long with another great save. Uh, two good saves from the Lincoln keeper. Very early on, keep them from being down 2 0 within 15. Kavanaugh. Is there an opportunity for the. Briam, get out of the way. Briam. There it is. Arnar Shevink. Finish. Use your left, son. Use your left. You're left footed. Use your left. Gregor Muller to stand over it. 22 yards out. There's the strike. It hits the post. Lincoln City get out. Oh, man. How did that not hit inside of the post and go in? Hopper. Anderson. One last chance maybe for Lincoln. They pull it back and the ref says we're done here. First 45 is up. Very back and forth end-to-end -end action. But the only good chance so far has been on the side of the Blues. Gregor Muller striking the post on that free kick there at the end of the half. And two good chances. Come on, boys. Got to find the back of the net. Two changes. Alfie Sutton and Ajwan Bream are off. Charles Groves and Miro Turnin enter the field for the last 30 or 20. Sheving finds Groves. Charles Groves driving forward. Is Vino Aro on side? Ref says yes. Is he? The ref says yes. There it is. Vino Aro finds the space, makes the run, and Charles Groves picks him out. Scuba dive celebration through the boards. Glitch City over there. But it's 1 0. Charles Groves, nice passing play from the boys, but. Couldn't find the back of the net as long was equal to the shot. But that's going to do it. A 1-0 win. An exciting 1-0 win over Lincoln City. Strong performances from both sides. Two teams fighting for that champion spot of League One. And proving in round one between the two teams that this season is going to be one for these two teams to take by the hands and claim for themselves. Let's hope that the next time these two teams meet is just as exciting. Let's get to the next game. For a player who's worth 10 million. Hello? The oh, fuck out of here. Another offer in. Chian Tierney getting an offer from Fleetwood Town for 1.2. I think I'm going to accept this straight away. It'll do Chian Tierney a World of good to head over to a team where he can get regular first time fo first team football. So we'll accept this one. See if he goes there. John Tierney has decided to take his talents over to Fleetwood Town. So we'll be seeing him on the other side of the pitch as an opponent here soon. Thank you, sir, for your service. <laughs> We welcome Alessandro Molina into the office. Let's see if we can get this deal done. All right, you guys. Alessandro Molina, welcome to Barro. 68 overall right midfielder. Going to get moved up to a right winger, obviously, as that's the system we play. But hopefully this kid will be good for us. Welcome to the squad, boy. Well, with transfer deadline day done, Here's what our squad looks like now. Obviously, we have players out on international duty, so they will not be playing in this next one. Arnar Shevink, Vino Aro, Molina in the front three. Brian Muller, Kavanaugh. Adorante Speak, Sigurd Jorgensen, Tunye. Kai Phoenix between the sticks. That's the starting 11. And the twos look like this. Hins, Elliot Turnin, Smith, McQuillan, Groves, Konadu, Fills in for Chan Tierney as he's now departed the club. Daniel Bond, Malcolm Edgar in the middle. Frederick Muller in the right-hand side. And Paul Grogan is in between the sticks. Monthly scouting reports are back. Let's take a look. First up, Christian Anderson. See what he's got. All right. So it looks like Christian Anderson has two players in that are worth looking at. Martino Andrade, his second month. We saw him in the first 
uh, at the beginning of August. Still looks a decent player, and is a striker, so let's give him the chance. Low overall, but that can be fixed. And secondly, Goncalvo Castro, 17 years old, looks a bit of like a defender. 60, 49 to 65, 69 to 93 potential. Rory Cavanaugh is second on the list in Northern Ireland. Let's go through these guys and get them sorted. We're going to start here. Michael Roche, 17 years old, 41 to 53 overall, 71 to 94 potential. Looks like a right midfielder. Certainly good, worth looking at. So let's bring him in. And then we have this kid. Brian Gavin, 17 years old, 42 to 68 overall, 80 to 94 potential. Well, I guess what better time to introduce two new signings? Uh, first up out of the academy, Ross Cash, six foot five, left back. Probably gonna move him to center back just for that height. Uh, 79 to 85 potential, 57 overall. Welcome to the first team, my boy. And the second one is going to stay left back. Miguel Noronha, 55 overall, 73 to 94 potential, 6 foot 1. Welcome to the senior team. All right, last game of the episode, a trip to Port Vale. A chance to see some old faces as Ross Cavanaugh does ply his trade with Port Vale still in his second year of his loan. But we are going to see a debut for the new signings. Alessandro Molina starts over the left. Ezra Elliott and Miro turn in up front. Smith, McCullen, Groves in the midfield. Konadu over the left. Bon, Edgar, and Muller in the back. The rest of the back four. And Paul Grogan between the sticks. Let's get three more points, boys. Port Vale was tricky for us last year, but we should handle them with ease. Come on. All right. Port Vale get us kicked off. Last game of the episode. Let's end it with a good win, boys. Come on. Very good debut time for Alessandro Molina. The Italian winger came in on transfer deadline day. Looking to make an impact straight away. Smith looks forward. Ezra Elliott, hello you. That's the position you want him in, but that's not the finish you want from him. Oh, come on, Ezra. Barry looking forward. That's not the pass I wanted. Neither was that one. But, oh, Ezra trying for the chip, but couldn't get enough on it to get up and over the goalkeeper. Groves. Barry Smith. Left foot. Woo! That's some spice to it. And Molina was there for cleanup if that didn't go wide for a corner. And that takes us to halftime. Port Vale nil. Barrow nil. Stagnant first half from both sides. Uh, other than the uh, thunder cunt from Barry Smith that got saved, nothing's happened. So zeros on the board. Let's hope for a goal in the second half. Second half beginning now. Barrow nil. Port Vale nil. Come on, boys. Let's find a goal. Whitehead playing forward. Rodney. Goes out wide, Gibbons, Konadu looking to meet, but the pass was spot on. Rodney, Daniel Bond, get it out, boys. Get the ball out. Crooks. Crooks looking for his options. Burgess, Grogan saves, up again, no! We're losing to a team that we shouldn't be losing to, boys, because we're stagnant going forward. The defense can't defend all day. Needed a better clearance earlier on from Daniel Bond. Rodney opens the scoring. Port Vale 1, Barrow 0. McQuillan, poor pass, son. Face up, square up, and play a proper fucking pass. Stop trying to do this little fancy flick bullshit. Groves. Turning. Miro, great save, Brown. Oral again out wide for Port Vale. Just looking to run the clock out. Gibbons, ball in, Muller, good header. Oh, that's a nice little escape ball. Hands, your touch is heavy though, my son. Ezra Elliott, 
Charging through. Ezra. Elliot. Yes, son. What a fucking finish. 89th minute. Sometimes you just got to wait a whole hour and a half for something good to happen for your boys. And Ezra Elliot, Superman himself, comes in to save the day. Nice and calm finish. That's a flick to the back post. Whew. Hard is pitter pattering after that one. 1 1. No, Smith gets a tackle in on hands, and that will do it here. A 1 1 draw. Oy. It's a poor, poor showing, but we salvage a point. We're going to need to have a better performance the next time around here against Port Vale and, well, and to bounce back and stay in the title race before Portsmouth widens the gap any farther than they already have. Well, that'll do it here. That'll do it here in episode 33. Four games and two wins, a draw and a loss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Borrow You Squad Road to Glory. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single new episode of Borrow or any of the new stuff coming out on the channel as I find more time and energy to create some more episodes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.